Hi guys and welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie. Today we're at the driving range and we're going to be doing a drill with my new irons because I need the practice. And uh, we're going to be making sure that I don't go from out to in because that's what I do a lot, especially with my driver and it cuts right. Up. So let's get into it. Okay, thanks Cassie. Yes, today we're going to be working on making sure that the shoulders don't turn and throw the club out and then go out to in. When we did the tightest fitting, check that video, we saw on the Trackman data that Cassie was um, about five degrees out to in. So obviously that's from out here going across the body. So she's cutting across the ball, which gives her a lot of spin. Today we're going to be working on making sure the club comes inside, through and then inside again. So we're not coming across out this way, we're going to be coming in a little bit this way and round. It's a very easy fix for Cassie and I'm going to show you what that is. So firstly, we want to make sure that we are not throwing the shoulders out. So the first move, we're going to go to the L like we've done many times, and then we're going to drop the hand. You can feel like we're sitting and dropping the hands first and bringing the club, tipping the club out. So it's going to be there. Okay, with the hands drop first rather than the shoulders moving first. So we go to the L, we stand the club up, which brings the, the head out here. We've got to make sure we don't lose the, the wrist angle. So as we do that, we don't want to let the wrist go, otherwise we're going to still come over outside and across. So if I lose the, the angle of the wrist and I do that, then the club's still going to be going out too much and cutting across. So go to the L, drop the hands, and then let the club swing through. So it'll look like this. All the way through. Shoulders are going to go around, but they've got to go around once we hit the ball, rather than before we get to the ball. So that that shoulder turn there brings everything outward. If we look at it from down the line, okay. So from down the line, get to there, the L, dropping the hands, sort of standing that club up and bringing the head out here. Now we're in the position to let it release through. That was a really great strike. So we've got to make sure that we don't have that first move as the shoulders going or the hips turning. The first move is dropping, dropping the hand in there. And then actually the next stage is getting that going together with that move into that left leg, that left heel trigger. We've done a video called uh, Triggering the Transition. And there it goes. And now we're coming from the inside. And so the one thing you'll notice is, and I was talking to Cassie the other day, when we go back this way, we're coming down and the circle comes in a little bit, a little bit under. If we come up this way and then we turn like that, the circle goes over the top. So we're gonna be doing this. Our circle out this way comes under here, rather than over the top. A lot of amateurs do this, turn the shoulders, it brings the club over. So we're going this way and then dropping it in and swinging through. Let's see how Cassie does. Cassie's got her nine iron. She's going to do the, the drill first and then let it through. Good. Okay, that was a nine iron, right at the hundred yard landing, rolled out a few yards, it's a good shot. Oh, that is a magnificent shot, right at the hundred yards, Mark. Oh, a nice swing.
There we go, what a great shot. Right on the nose, dead straight, 100 yards. Okay, good swing. Came out a little bit flat, but that's because he didn't quite get the strike. Nice shot. Okay, so you've seen Cassie do a pretty good job there. One thing you'll be careful of, as you come down here, you're not throwing the arms away from the body. The arms are coming in down by this right thigh, so it's dr dropping here rather than out there. Okay? So you've got to here, and then you can go. Keep the right shoulder coming through, letting the club swing all the way around, but we mustn't, it's not there, it's not out here, it's pulling it down there and turning through. There we go, beautiful shot. Oh, right on the nose, that nine iron, how far is it gonna be? 100, perfect. Yeah, really nice shot. We're getting a little bit of spin on them as well. Oh yeah, now we're talking. That's the money shot there. 100 on the nose with a five yard run. Make sure you stay in your posture a little bit more. Good shot. Lovely shot, okay. Oh, we've got great flight there. Well done. Okay, so Cassie's doing a great job there. So now when we get to here, we want her to actually do the transition move into that left heel and bring that down as part of the move and then let it go. So it'll give it a little bit more power. Still needing to make sure she gets the shoulder coming through. But because we're driving into that left heel and coming down, she'll get a little bit more energy. So the one that she sometimes hits them with a little bit too more, too kind of floaty, they drop off about 10 yards of distance. So this will ensure that her launch angle is a little bit lower and she gets a little bit more piercing flight on it. And then she'll come out instead of the one which slightly gets open and goes up and a bit short. Let's see how she does. Oh, magnificent shot. Well played. Yeah, really nice shot. Oh, you're standing up again. Get in your posture a little bit more aggressive in your posture. That's a magnificent ball. Right on the money, well played. Okay, what did you think today, Cassie? I now know that my nine iron is 100 yards. Okay, good. How about direction for most most of those shots? Straight. Dead straight. You've got a lot more um, consistency down the middle there with this um, drill. Thanks for this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Click the thumbs up button and subscribe. Bye.